man. Uh, Two-time Milrose Games champion, back-to-back. -back. Last year, I'm mean, two years ago, 6-4-9, 6-4-7. What can we expect this Sunday? Um, there we go. Honestly, I haven't even really thought about a time or anything like that. Like, I really just want to come out and execute a good race. Like, I feel like at the beginning of the season, like this is the most difficult for track athletes because it's like the unknown, you know? Like you've been training really well, feeling really good, and then you just want to go out there and just compete at a high level and you're not really sure like, you know, what to expect. So hopefully I can just go out there, execute a good race, feel good about it, and, and come out with a win too. And hopefully it can be something special. Then right next to you, we got Tokyo Olympian champion as well, Canadian record holder, and I don't know in how many events, Andre de Grasse. Andre, you don't really race indoors. I think 2022, 2023, you were not indoors at all. But now you're back. I think you already raced a couple 60s this year. What is your goals? What are your plans for Milrose Games? It's a big stage. Yeah, um, for me, of course, uh, yeah, I haven't done it professionally. I think this is my, yeah, my third time doing it professionally. But I used to run it a lot in college. Um, but yeah, I think just me coming back, I wanted to kind of just work on my start, get back in the 100 meter mix. Um, for me, I think that's gonna help me forward towards towards outdoor. Um, if I can like, kind of just nail the start or just be with my competitors at 30 meters. So yeah, that's kind of my game plan. I just was like, I mean, come out here, run a couple indoor 60s. Of course, you know, New York is you know one of the the best places to run it. The Armory, uh, I love coming here. This is my my third time coming here. I ran it at uh, NJCAA's, and then uh, I made my my professional debut here. Uh, when I went pro, so um, I always love coming here and running with my family and friends close by in, in Canada and then I have some family up here in New York and New Jersey. So I was like, this is the place to, to run if I'm gonna if I'm gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, the atmosphere is absolutely great at the Armory. And I really feel like you're gonna be racing against the best. You know, you got a world record holder right next to you. How important is that for you to race here against the best at the Monroe's Games? Yeah, I, I love the competition. I always uh, love competing against the best. And of course, you know, competing against the world record right here, Coleman. Um, you know, he always gets the job done, so it's like, it's perfect. Like, I can see where I'm at going towards outdoor, um, see where I, where I can be competitive. And uh, for me, like, uh, it's all about, like, just trying to just get better towards that 60. So if I can run a personal best, which I haven't done in, like, five years, so that would be great. So I just want to just got to go with him and, and just see where I'm at. And let's go back to Christian real quick. Uh, Christian, I feel like this has been a special place for you the past two years, the Milrose Games. You came back here in 2022 and it was competitive. You came back last year, it was competitive. Why does the Armory, the Milrose Games, always bring out the dog out of you, I really feel like? like you, you, be a you be competing every single time you have Milrose. For sure, I mean, I won't necessarily say it's more so the Army as much as it might just be so I just be me, like I feel like anytime I get, <laughs> I feel like anytime I get out there, like especially like running against the best in the world, like you want to win, like you know it's it's highly competitive, um, especially going up against guys like indoors that you're gonna see outdoors as well, like you know you want to try to set the tone, and so um, but I do feel like the army like just brings a special and like a different type of atmosphere, you know like um, I love how like it's you know really intimate, it seems like the fans are, like right on top of you. Um, and then being in New York, you know, it's like, you know, the, one of the capital cities like here in the U.S. So, you know, the fans are really knowledgeable and excited about the sport. And um, I feel like that just brings a lot of excitement and, you know, brings out the best of me as a competitor. So it's really exciting. There you go. There you go. That's our men's 60, women's 60 meter hurdles.